read The Wishing Tree. I like this one because I don't know if you know the, or the origin of wishing trees. Mm -hmm. um, they were originally the sites of human sacrifice. So you take a child and you kill the child and you bury it in the roots of a tree and then you plant the tree over it and drive offerings into the bark like coins or ribbons. Whenever you see someone tying a ribbon to a tree, that's what they're actually doing, honoring, um, honoring a dead god. And I love it. <laughs> Um, <coughs> the wishing tree. I thought of her as the wishing tree that died and saw it lifted root and branch to heaven, trailing a shower of all that had been driven need by need into its hail, sapwood, and bark. Coin and pin and nail came streaming from it like a comet tail, new minted and dissolved. I had a vision of an airy branch head rising through damp cloud, of turned up faces where the tree had stood. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that <laughs> That's really interesting. It reminds me of something. I was watching um, a documentary on, on the oldest human child they've ever found. Oh, yeah. And it was, I think, in, in Kenya or, or Sudan. No, sorry, it was in Ethiopia, in the Rift Valley. And it, that just reminded me of it because the skull was found with roots growing through it, and that's, yeah. the, that's the oldest, most complete human skeleton of a child.